Welcome to session one of the 2023 Real Organic Symposium at the Crossroads. We chose this rather difficult topic for this year when we began to see that chemical companies like Syngenta and Bayer Monsanto are calling themselves regenerative. Then Walmart made a commitment to convert 50 million acres to regenerative agriculture. And there have been many other companies that have followed suit. These are some of the biggest companies in the world. So wouldn't it be wonderful if it were real? So we took a look. What do these brands mean when they say they're regenerative? And do they mean the same thing as the 100% grass-fed ranch up the road that uses the word because they don't need organic certification because they're directly marketing to their community? Do they mean the same thing as the many certified organic farms that are using regenerative to explain that they're going beyond the baseline USDA organic standards? They're creating healthy soils, rotating animals on pastures, providing ecosystem services on their farms, everything we promote as real organic. The more we investigated, the more definitions for regenerative farming that we found. It turned out that chemical companies, fast food companies, and other brands were using the term to mean something very different than the organic community. So we wondered, who will define regenerative for the future? I also talked to regenerative advocates that went so far as to say they would even prefer chemical no-till over any agricultural practice that uses tillage because they claimed that tillage is disrupting the fungal life in the soil. This was personal and shocking to me because the best organic farmers across the country are tilling under large amounts of biomass from their cover cropping to grow their own fertility and organic matter, which I see as the gold standard. And as a PhD mycologist, I was shocked to hear that some people felt that chemical use was better than tillage because chemicals reduce biodiversity of fungal life in the soil. And because anytime you're using fertilizers, mycorrhizae will not form partnerships with crop plants. We're going to discuss this more in session two. We also found that not only was chemical commodity pr production with the addition of cover crops that are terminated by herbicides being called regenerative, but when this chemical no-till grain is then fed to animals in confinement, that meat and milk was also deemed regenerative. So like in organic, we have a real disagreement over the meaning of these terms. And this is not about tribalism or organic versus regenerative. This is about how do we encourage a better way of producing food? Because amidst all of this, the USDA announced over $3 billion to go towards climate smart agriculture. But organic was not the launching pad for this funding. And while there were some good organic champions that did receive a few of the crumbs from that funding, it turned out that the USDA's version of Climate Smart looked a lot like the chemical companies that were calling themselves regenerative. Is this a coincidence? Are there any scientific studies to back the idea that the chemical termination of cover crops is actually better for the climate than tilling under large biomass, growing your own fertility? So one thing that the organic movement has learned since the passage of the Organic Foods Production Act is that staying silent about changes to the meaning of organic has only allowed the problems to proliferate. And while we sometimes receive criticism from our friends when we publicly discuss these problems, open conversations about corporate greenwashing is really the only tactic that we have to combat it. When feedlots and chemical no-till is now regenerative, and when the USDA funds this as climate smart, we have no choice but to speak out to protect the farms that will be driven out of business by the co-opting of our movements. This is not a small thing. We are so grateful that you are curious enough to join us in these conversations because there is no greater opportunity for transformation than open minds and open discussion.